I'm going to show you six tips on how to capture a professional profile picture with one of these. Three things to keep in mind. Number one, context. You want to think about what's this photo for? Is it for a headshot? Is it for Facebook? Is it for LinkedIn? If we're talking about LinkedIn profile, you want to dress appropriate. Think about going to a job interview. If you're a lawyer, you'd wear a suit. If you're a graphic designer, you might wear something a bit more casual. So you want to dress appropriately for the industry you're in. Number two, confidence. You want to show up to this photo standing nice and tall, address the camera straight on, and look into the lens. Number three, smile. It's really important to smile in your LinkedIn profile. Think about something funny that recently happened and have that in your mind while you're smiling and looking at the camera. Three technical things to keep in mind. Number one, lighting. I can't stress how important lighting is. When you go to get your photograph professionally taken in the studio, they have a big umbrella and that's an area light. How that differs from your home is most light bulbs around the house are point lights and they cause really harsh shadows on your face, which don't look good. What do you do when you're at home? Well, you could just stand next to a window. Standing next to a window gives you nice, soft shadows. As long as you're not standing directly in the sun, light direction is also really important. You want to think about Rembrandt lighting. If you don't know what Rembrandt lighting is, Google it, study it, and copy it. Number two, lens. Another thing a professional photographer brings is a really high-end camera and a really long lens. You can actually replicate that with your mobile phone. It just means you have to stand further away from your subject and zoom in. If you capture a photo where the camera is too close to the face, which usually means you're on a wide lens, it distorts all the features. A way to avoid this is to stand really far away from your subject and zoom in. And this is gonna compress all the facial features and make the face look more aesthetically pleasing. Number three, framing. You want the viewer's focus to be on your face and not the background. So make sure you're shooting in front of a plain background. White walls work great. Or if it's just the scenery in office or outdoors, just make sure that the background's not in focus. In terms of cropping, make sure there's enough room below your chest and above your head. And you could always make that creative decision later as to how you want to crop in on your face. And those are six easy steps on how to get a pro photo with one of these. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Any questions or tips, drop it in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.